of meld app and the freedom which one is offering to customers you have to pay attention to this video we're gonna bring as well the CEO of the company in order to teach you and to give you the latest news in the next couple of minutes what you have to do is just share this video to other people and start creating noise on the comment section i'm looking forward to hear your opinions guys about meld on meld and the community which one is growing in the last few years like crazy 100 5000 people around and you have to understand that this is something big on Cardano ecosystem and you have to pay attention otherwise you're gonna pay the price my financial advice do your own diligence you don't want to get exposed to cryptocurrency before you understand the risk reward metrics and if you want to learn more just get in contact with us we never contact you guys pay attention what is melt and why is such a great opportunity for people to understand the world first global on chain new bank powered by blockchain and today you are gonna hear all the informations from the ceo of meld app in the next two minutes i'm gonna bring him here in order to teach you guys what's happening and how you can take advantage of the next 30 minutes of packed information I'm looking forward guys to connect in a minute they are coming soon they are gonna come soon just make some noise comment on the section as well you are gonna get a lot of informations in a minute okay Let's see, let's see, let's see who's going to connect. People are coming slowly. New Bank is live in 160 countries right now around the world. And we have to understand it. I'm going to update you as soon as possible. This video is going to be packed with a lot of information. And you have to pay attention. Because it's coming. Something big is coming. let's see people are coming are connecting meld is on the space here good 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 and if you want to learn more as well do not hesitate to connect with us we have a lot of content as well we are creating a lot of stuff just follow us subscribe our channel as well and what you have to do as well we have creating content as well for the last okay. two years on tiktok as well we have a lot of people which one is connecting with us george finance cup just get there follow us we come into live streams as well we help you guys to understand more about the psychology of the markets but you have to stick with us Let's see. This is coming soon. Just what you have to do is subscribe and ask up for free. It's free, guys to protect yourself during recession we have this video which is packed with a lot of information we just help you guys as well today with another video which is top five crypto scams yesterday we brought another video as well which one was bitcoin for beginners how to buy first crypto in three easy steps get ready okay let's see meld is here and of course don't forget to follow us on
x george finds god i have here as well creating you guys every day faster the better You hear nothing. Okay. No. Nothing. It's gonna come soon. At least it's gonna take a minute or so. And they are coming, 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 coming. Shared by my old, a lot of people are connecting. Hey everybody, we'll jump on this uh, spaces in just a minute. We'll give people a couple of minutes to sort of come in uh, and then we'll catch up um, on easily Mel's busiest week since we launched the protocol. This is good. This is what we and want to hear. It's been a long time with a lot of busy weeks. This is the busiest of the busiest. It is, it is. It's good. Great news are coming. Just pay attention. Smash that like button. And share this video to other people which one they want to learn more about meld and meld on meld. I'm excited. I'm not financial advisor, I'm not sharing this ads. To influence you guys to just get involved and get uh, you know, like a bias on this project. No, what you have to do is do your own diligence. Understand that there is a risk reward involved into the markets, any market, but it's coming. coming is coming is coming let's see you have little meld you have the can for everybody tuning in we're going to start in just a minute uh anybody who has any questions yes. please put them into the chat here in the spaces and we'll do what, what we can to answer them um if you don't put them into the chat we don't know you have sort of put the question out there and we won't be able to answer it. So please do that. Just click on the little, if you're on the phone, click on the little uh, message bubble in the bottom right corner. Um, and if you're on the on the computer, same button and it'll pop up uh, on the left-hand side. Also everybody, um, do me a favor. Um, if you can retweet the spaces, that would be very appreciated so more people know about the spaces and jump in here so we don't have a lot of repeats and get the word out. Perfect. I have a question for sure. I have multiple questions. First, I believe this is my question. One of it. Oh. No. No, 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 no. Give me this. This is the first question. Which one do you want to ask? Right. All right, let's kick this off. So thanks everybody for joining. Um, we're looking at uh, just over two years and um, mm. this week has been a really That's eventful good. week. We have launched the MELD Neobank on Monday. We launched the MELD Lending and Borrowing Protocol on Tuesday. Um, both launches have gone very well. We Perfect. haven't had much in the way of hiccups. Um, on the Neobank side, um, we have found a handful of bugs through the users that have uh, downloaded the app and signed up. Um, so we've submitted those changes to the App Store. Um, they're in process now. You never know how Apple is going to accept things and what, how long it's going to take. But you'll see a couple of new updates relatively soon for the mobile app to fix some of the, the bugs, the known bugs that we currently have. And then we have lending and borrowing. So the 
the big um, the big value proposition that um, we started with way back in 2021 um, to get lending and borrowing out there and make it possible for people to take their crypto non-custodially, lock it up, and then uh, be able to borrow fiat against that. We're we're there. We've uh, we've delivered it. So I'm very happy. I'm very proud. Um, incredibly proud of the team uh, that have been doing this. Um, I've already said this on a couple of occasions, but I'm going to say it again that you know the Meld team that is currently here for this delivery has done an absolutely amazing job. Um, a lot of people are kind of in the background. They're not, you know, Dustin or Pepe or myself or Germinas. Um, we have all obviously worked very, very hard to get here, but, you know, all of the engineering team on the back end, all of the people that have been supporting Germinas, our legal team, operations, finance, HR, um, <clears throat> somebody who doesn't really get much, um, sort of airtime is Gonzalo. Um, Gonzalo is our lead designer. Uh, he's been working here for two years, I think now, probably feels like eight years for him because he has to work under me. Um, but Gonzalo has done a fantastic job. He's been working really, really hard, and he's brought in a really incredibly high level of sort of design quality and consistency um, to the whole ecosystem. Um, and he's, you know, to his credit, he's um, he's been able to work under me. Um, I'm Let's not see. an easy person to work with when it comes to design. I'm incredibly demanding. Um, but he also has that level of sort of com commitment and that level of professionalism, so it works really well. So, um, you know, Gonzalo has been the guy sort of actually sitting at the drawing mm. board, you know, <laughs> literally doing every single button, ev Why is it so? Every single icon, every single iteration, every state, everything. Um, he works very closely with Dustin now. Which is good. Keeping people updated and. Um, he's done an absolutely amazing. Um, I have to say, Tomislav. Um, Tomislav is our lead um, CICD engineer. Um, basically, he's the person that makes sure that all of our infrastructure is deployed and running correctly. Uh, all of our servers are set up. Whenever there is a new feature or a new piece of functionality um, that the backend team has, he has to deploy that technology. Yes. Um, he has to. This is the second question which I will ask. I need these questions for you guys. All this is for you all. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, yes. Um, definitely sort of clap hands and, you know, big thumbs up to everybody that's uh, that's been doing that. And now we're here. We have lending and borrowing live. Um, so we have currently we have north of seven hundred thousand um, dollars in TVL on the lending and borrowing protocol. That's good. That's um, because we have such low liquidity right now, um, the interest rates are fluctuating massively. Uh, I think mm. we have twenty five thousand dollars in USDT. <coughs> um, we have commitments from third party partners uh, to borrow more than 2 million. Mm. Um, and we currently now have commitments for people to supply stable coins uh, upwards of 400,000. So 
Over the next week or two, three, you'll see the TVL increase. You'll see the borrowing rates increase and you'll start to see kind of a balance between the, the borrowing uh, interest rate and the amount that's borrowed and then the interest rate on the yield. So it's a good thing that it's actually coming up slowly, but surely. Um, we want it to kind of slowly build up rather than completely fly off the handle because we have a bunch of new technologies that are sitting in the back end, um, like Yield Boost. Um, we want to make sure all of that stuff runs without any hiccups. And so we kind of build up slowly, build up steam, and then we'll pick up uh, faster and faster. Um, I can go on like this for a long time, but I think I'm just going to first hand it off to Dustin. He's, Dustin is the head of product at Meld. I'll give him a chance to kind of give you guys an update and sort of talk a little bit about his baby. That's good. I'll do this. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone everyone's fine. After the lunch, you're excited. Our baby, like my baby, is doing well. He's doing pretty well. Yeah, like 700K TVL and uh, still growing. Um, iOS mo mobile app, and we will also start like a massive marketing campaign soon. But the most important message is that we're not stopping, guys, because you might have this feeling that, okay, we have achieved the biggest milestones. That was the iOS and your banking plus uh, lending and borrowing. But before the AMA, we had a call with uh, Ken, with uh, Pepe, and also with uh, Danny who's our software architect. And we basically drafted out a plan for, for next months, um, what to bring. So new functionalities, new features, um, polishing quality of life improvements for our, all of our products, not only in terms of uh, mobile app, uh, not only in terms of uh, web app, but also our, our, our backend, basically on all frontiers that you can uh, think of when uh, talking about Melt and the Melt ecosystem. So we will have a very a lot of work to be to be honest with you. A lot of a lot of on our our, our plates, but please expect um, great things ahead. I also think that we have to update our roadmap on the Melt.com official uh, website to tell you guys what you can expect next. And believe me, it's worth waiting for. Okay, that's better. super Good information. Thanks, Dustin. Um, so with that, um, I think I'm just going to hand off to Pepe in regards to um, any points he wants to cover. Um, we're all continuing to work very, very hard, um, like Dustin said, except for Pepe. So Pepe on Monday goes on holiday for two weeks. <laughs> um, so he won't be around. So if anybody wants to sort of ping him on Telegram or um, he's getting paid well at the mail, then with him, he's going to uh, he's not be responding. But uh, so some final last words before you go on holiday, Pepe. I need to work with you um, guys. Mm, see you. Uh, <laughs> joking aside, uh, I think it's been a monumental week for the mail ecosystem, the mail company, the mail team. Um, everyone has been working so, so hard for so long. And it's also important to reflect that to this week we've consolidated two of the biggest products and protocols we've um, had as a target ever since I joined the company. But it has been a work that isn't, has not been done in the last couple of weeks. It's been a done built on the foundation that we've been working for a long time. I still remember the 16th of January 2023. That was the target date for releasing okay. the Meldap in the web uh, when I joined the company. And we were two days late. Um, but that milestone, we did our own network, we did our own bridge. Mm. We've done so many foundational elements that are now consolidated into the banking stack and the lending and borrowing stack. And um, now, as I was telling some some uh, team members this morning, we are we've built the legs of the table, and we have the baseline. Now the game is starting. 
now is where meld is going to be creating that extra value that we are going to be uh, making a real impact on and the finance course. world um, now is the time where fiat and crypto starts coming together now is the time where everything you do in the finance world is going to be able to do mm. be done on the meld network um, so i think given that this is a, a kind of launch party of some sort um, i think it's worth mentioning a bit more about what lending and borrowing is and what it is not um, so first of all lending and borrowing is not something we've invented it's something that has been there in the traditional finance world forever yeah. and then evolved into DeFi by other products in the in the crypto space right. however we've taken those baselines mm -hmm. and improved and added more functionality on top of them so what is lending and borrowing as a simple 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 explanation you supply your tokens into a pool that then some other people can borrow and pay an interest for borrowing them that interest goes directly to you the mm. supplier and everyone is happy because you are taking a, are making a yield out of your unused assets without losing the exposure on those assets and then you are able to potentially borrow um, if you want again it's not mandatory to borrow anything and you can borrow yeah, other assets true. for you to be doing trading or DeFi or whatever you want to do with your borrowing capacity some actually one of the uh, today that we are feeling nostalgic the, the reason or the story that Ken told me that got me into Mel is well um, is very, very close to being Good. realized. And the goal is, you all know people who are crypto rich, but in reality, they don't have a lot of day-to-day -day money. So they will be able to put their Bitcoins, their Ethereum, their ADA as collateral, and mm. then automatically go to a bar, pay for a beer, pay for a dinner, um, take a borrow against their Bitcoin or their ADA, um, automatically convert it to euros or dollars and pay for it. When you wake up the next morning, the system will have been generating enough yield for you for that dinner to be paid out. Okay. So Makes sense. this is the level of composability that we are talking about. And this is the level of things that lending and borrowing enables us to do. Um, I do encourage everyone to uh, start using the lending and borrowing platform we are in the early days so expect weird numbers in terms of like suddenly something is 100 percent borrowed um it's kind of an next case where you see a 75 percent yield on something we've taken a little a, a more conservative approach with the numbers and the interest and the rules That's we've true. set in place for um the protocol to get started but those rules are going to be evolving over time as we see more liquidity in lending and borrowing, but mm. also as we see more liquidity in the meld ecosystem, things like Atomi, things like the bridge, um, they are going to have a big impact into how everything plays out together and all the numbers are, are going to be kind of adapting and, and evolving. But uh, as Dustin said, we, we had a meeting just before this space um, where I'm going, I'm going to be out for two weeks, but I have three papers full of tasks for all the engineers at Mel to do. So even though I will not be kind of showing my icon, showing my face, being active in Telegram so much, I can assure you the work is not stopping. So expect a meaningful work and meaningful evolution to be done in the next couple of weeks and definitely towards the end of the year. Perfect. Happy days. Thank you, Pepe. You are a great leader and great analyst. Super. Thanks, Pepe. Um, yeah, so um, we have all this product. Can I hear you? Can, can I hear you? Worked out now. We yeah. have launched um, its growth. 
Um, so slow, slowly but surely, everything is building up. There was a question in the um, in the chat um, about um, no volume. Um, is there any volume? So we launched on Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Um, we have to give it a little bit more time than two days to um, get some degree of volume. I think. Seven hundred thousand dollars in. Just don't have to watch this. Here comes the word. Um, yes, we have a marketing campaign that's going to be starting soon, both uh, for the Neobank and for lending and borrowing. We'll be doing some more videos about lending and borrowing soon. <coughs> um, tracking liquidity is a bit tricky in the crypto space um, in the age of meme coins. The type of liquidity that we have to attract is more traditional um, sort of DAOs and private investors and people that believe in the you don't too much it's not working properly this x sometimes it's playing too much but we are gonna get there in a second and update you guys with more information so just stick with us sometime you know there are issues a fast perfect very sort of you know flash in the pan um type of liquidity so <clears throat> yes dustin uh yeah i can cheers so uh, i would like to discuss like back to lending and borrowing just to promote a little bit more of uh, no specific details of this uh, of our flagship product Perfect. because we said that we we do care and we always want to inject our passion towards beautiful user interface beautiful design and also very practical user experience so probably like most of you are familiar with uh, with ave right which is a, a leader in the learning and borrowing space but uh, we always want to go like extra mile, right? So if you open the supply and borrow or lending and borrowing our product in mm -hmm. the web app wallet, the supply and borrow tab, there are a couple of details that I, I would really like you to, to, to check yourself, to experiment, to explore. Um, because for example, uh, you know that it's, it's really critical to look, um, uh, look after your like risk factor, right? To not be liquidated so that when your LTV, so loan to value, uh, exceeds some specific threshold, right? You're at the risk of being liquidated. We have introduced this, this uh, idea, this approach of uh, showing a, a red shield. And also when you select a specific asset that you're supplying as collateral, or actually not the collateral, then you can see a new component in the central part of the screen that says liquidation protection. So uh, we, we do care about your safety and we promote it um, everywhere, basically, not only through those uh, visual, uh, uh, visual elements, but also through uh, very detailed tooltips tool tips to, to guide you. So I do recommend you guys to hover over every single tooltip to read about liquidation protection, to read about liquidation point. If you hover over, you will see like a great uh, info box explaining what it is exactly, how you can be liquidated, uh, why you, you might be liquidated, how to calculate that, how, how to track it, how to protect yourself from being liquidated. There's plenty of plenty of information. Um, when it comes to yield boost, you can see, you can notice that on the left hand side, when you have the supply and under available assets to supply, you see those lightning icons. So when you hover over, we are informing you that, hey, when you bridge through our Akamon bridge, then there will be a yield boost offer on your supplied position. Also, uh, which something that our competitors are not doing uh, is uh, tracking of uh, rewards mm. earned from supplying an asset and also like tracking the cost of borrowing an asset. So a cost of all your active loans 
um, whether you select a um, supply asset or whether you select a borrowed asset, you can see in the central the part of the UI, which is titled overview, a component, a tile that says asset performance. And it tells you since when you uh, started supplying and how much you earned. And also for borrowed, you can see that your loan history, again, since when and your total cost. Also, um, something I find really handy is when you have some collateral supplied and you have active loans, so you have total borrowed, right? Um, we are showing a market price of a specific asset. Let's say I have my AVAX borrowed. And when you check the market price, you will also see information about the liquidation. Mm. So um, to what price this specific asset would have to like, increase for you to be like at risk of liquidation. So I do really recommend guys like spend more time and check what we have designed here, uh, how fantastic um, approach we have towards user experience, how seamless it is. And you'll definitely have not only a lot of fun, but also a lot of opportunities to supply and earn, but also to long your crypto, borrow against it, and take the most of DeFi opportunities in the crypto space. That's good. So thanks a lot and yeah, have fun. Happy days. So now <clears throat> we have we've delivered. So now it's time for all of you guys in the audience here to give it a spin so what i want to what i want to sort of impress upon everybody here you need to give it a try you need to sort of bridge some assets whether it's stables or ada or whatever it is and supply it you don't have to borrow this is one of the biggest fallacies about lending and borrowing that we have to work on in regards to education mm. if you just supply an asset you're not exposing it to any liquidation risk or you're not gonna, there's no chance of losing it or anything like that. You're just simply supplying it for other people to borrow. Mm. When they borrow it, then you'll earn an interest on it. That's good. So I suggest you guys give it a try. Um, even if nobody borrows the asset, you're still going to earn an interest on it. That's this good. is how our protocol is set up. Awesome. So you get a double benefit along the way for things like ADA, USDT, USDC. Even right now, Bitcoin has a yield on it. I think it's yielding or it's got a uh, yield of like 2% or something like that. Um, so supplying your assets, it's harmless, very easy. It helps the protocol because we get higher TBL and it helps you guys because we're able to generate a uh, yield on the assets for you and you're able to make some money. That's good. I've been supplying um, USDC for the past couple of days. And right now, based on the yield, I'm making about a dollar a day on the yield for USDC. I'm dollar. not supplying very much. I'm supplying like $350, $400. But if I can make a dollar on $300, that's not bad. Um, wait that. Wait for like a week. And then there's the, the answer that Pepe gave you in regards to being able to go and uh, buy a cup of coffee. And then after a period of time, that coffee is automatically paid for by the melt protocol. So <clears throat> please, everybody give it a try. Go and use the bridge, bridge.melt.com. Bring some liquidity over and uh, tell us what you think once you've, sta once you've supplied it. And this one. Dustin? Sorry, go ahead, Dustin. Go ahead, Pepe. No, Dustin, Dustin, go ahead. Uh, sorry, I've just got a quick question. Ken, did you use your Melt Bunker NFT? Yes. In the supply bro. Absolutely. I supplied, yeah. uh, I think I supplied, um, I think I supplied like $1,000 in USDT and I used my banker on it. That's nice, nice, great. So yeah, yeah I also recommend to, to our, you know, listeners that they should head to JPEG uh, store, uh, buy an NFT. Uh, we are also supporting bridging uh, Melt bank managers NFTs from Cardano to Melt so that you can use the utility that, we, that we're giving in the lending and borrowing. Yeah, go on, Pepe. Yeah, there was also a question on Telegram regarding the bridging um, for asking for us to explain a bit into how the Melt bridge is secure. 
mm-hmm. and how it is held and, and all of that. So all of this information is available on the mail docs since even before we launched the, the bridge. But in summary, all of the assets are managed through smart contracts. And um, when you deposit, let's put, for example, ADA. When you deposit ADA into the smart contract on the Cardano side, and that gets locked there. And we then go and mint you in the mail network some ADA tokens. Um, the ADA is stored in a smart contract, as I said, and is generating yield. Uh, in Cardano's case, it's easy because the native staking in Cardano is very powerful, and we generate, I think it's around like 2 point something, 3% of yield out of that ADA. Um, for assets that are based on Ethereum or Avalan- um, Avalanche, that yield is generated by the assets being um, used into liquidity uh, protocols that generate that yield that gets distributed to everyone in the yield boost. All of this management is done through smart contracts. There is no manual intervention in this. Um, and it's all, uh, I think we commented on this on Tuesday, but it's all being tested thoroughly with 99.5% of um, all single lines of the smart contract tested and everything properly reviewed. So um, the assets are, are controlled by Mel on the Mel bridge, but the Mel network is obviously open for everyone and, and other bridges are also part of the ecosystem. Um, but just a heads up, not all bridges are going to give you the same asset. Um, so for instance, if you bridge USDC using Chainport, the USDC that you receive is not going to be the same that mm-hmm. you get when using Akamon. And some of those assets may not be supported as part of the broader meld protocol line. Um, on the network, fully decentralized. In terms of which assets are supporting lending and borrowing, for instance, then we have some liquidity requirements. Um, which also, can a, a question for you, probably. Um, someone yeah. was asking if we can share more information. In... Can I hear the question? So what will require for an asset to be part of the lending and borrowing? Yeah. So, so the um, we're talking to a couple. Who the lending and borrowing and coming on to meld. Um, effectively, it has to do with liquidity in the DEX. Mm. So, how much liquidity is in the DEX? and the market cap of the underlying asset. So the ability to borrow has a direct correlation to the market cap of the asset. That's good. That's great. The market cap of the asset is... It's a good update. Good update, but it's playing too much again, this. An example, if a... I don't understand why. Then the liquidation is completed. The person who is doing the liquidation gets the asset and they convert it. They'll take it and they'll sell it into a DEX and get a stable coin for it. When they sell it into the DEX, that then causes the price of that asset to go down even more which causes new liquidations to happen. So this oh. is called a cascading liquidation event. Happens all the time on Ethereum. Um, you get some big positions get liquidated. The ETH is then sold for stables, which then drops the price of ETH. Everyone is getting liquidated, yeah. That's about it. Ah, it's doing too much. Which then causes more liquid. Liquidations after liquidations, the cascade in effect. It's good. 
Let's see what's happening because something is dodgy. Fifteen percent of the value. Good. Good, Ken. Thank you for the updates as well. Liquidated unknowingly and mm -hmm. without any kind of prior experience that becomes a very bad first experience and then you know we create it there there are issues that come up with that we're very lucky in the sense that um we're at the bottom of the bull market so we're looking at kind of uh, you know it's ranging right now and eventually it's going to go up again Sweet. we might have another small um bear trap but um it's not going to be nothing is going to be major in that area so it's a good thing for us right now because we see that you know as people as people supply and as people borrow the value of the collateral will continue to go up and keep them into a relatively safe place mm. this will become more risky as we get into the top of the market and it'll become very very risky as the market starts to go down yeah but for right now i believe it's a great opportunity for people to understand now to start getting educated to start getting more information under their belt before the last phase of the bull run is gonna just get everyone uh, like a wave and you have to understand that no one is gonna be prepared but if you are part of our community we are gonna just get the best out of it in order to help people to understand where we are standing and at the end of the day you have to do your own diligence as well when we get exposed and when we get out this is it guys i believe meld is they have a great vision i don't know and i cannot bet like oh yeah they are the best company out there they are striving to give a good product for the 106 with the lending countries. and borrowing which is great let me go again because something is wrong change in the price of an asset um in order for you to get into a liquidation a liquidatable position that's not going to happen um in this part of the market unless something like incredibly ridiculous happens in the space not in the space but in the world like you know world war three global pandemic something along those lines could cause it um but outside of that um you we're not going to see those kinds of swings and that's the reason why we set those parameters because we wanted to make sure that, it, that we didn't we didn't do that kind of a thing. So we need to give you guys a chance to become familiar with the protocol, learn how it works, learn how like the mechanics behind it. This is all new for for most of you guys, and so we didn't want to to sort of open it up super wide so you guys could go and kind of wreck yourself in that sense. All right. Um, so at some point we'll probably have uh, some sort of notifications, but as of right now, we don't have any plans to um, build or deploy notifications. Um, typically something like that is gonna be built by somebody in the community. Um, and then people can take those notification services, set up the thresholds that they want to set up and then attach it to the lending and borrowing protocol. Everybody's gonna have a different set of thresholds for what they want to get notified for. Um, and then on the margin calls, there is no such thing really as a margin call here because you don't have any daily or monthly requirements. You don't have monthly payments. You don't have cost of funding that happens every day. And so um, the margin call is really going to be something related to kind of what you feel um, okay. we should, you should, how you should handle it, not how somebody else should handle it. Yeah, it's your um, own responsibility. So if anybody out there is interested in building a notification system for the lending and borrowing protocol, we're happy to sort of collaborate with you guys. Um, otherwise, you're just going to have to wait. Um, and if nobody does it, then we'll put it on our to-do list. But it's not going to it's not really high on the priority list right now. Um, there was a question, uh, let me see, about um, 
ZK banking notes. Where was it? Um, the breakdown on how and when the interest for ZK banking notes are going to be paid. Yeah. So um, as you guys know, we have a um, ZK banking node sale that's going on right now. The ZK banking network will be launched in January of next year. Um, that network will um, effectively take the transactions from our banking backend system and will process um, using the ZK banking network um, those transactions into proofs, um, not zero knowledge proofs, and put them onto the Melt blockchain. Um, the yield from those banking nodes, if you if you go and you buy one of those banking nodes, gets paid out quarterly. Mm -hmm. um, so the first payment will be in March, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to then, uh, based on the, the the deal flow, based on the transaction volumes on the network, um, the yield will be calculated dynamically for the dynamic nodes and statically for the static nodes. It will be um, deployed in MEL tokens, um, mm -hmm. but it's based on the dollar transaction volume or the fiat currency transaction volume because, volume because the banking stack is obviously sort of operating um, based on is based on fiat currency um it'll be available um on the first day of the of the quarter and then you have the you'll have the ability to claim those melt tokens yes. so the melt tokens will be provided as the as the block rewards based on the melt token value and based on whatever the dollar dollar amount was generated in that prior quarter um on the banking stack so that's how the ZK banking notes yield is sort of structured, um, and that's how you claim it. Good, good, good. Let's see. I think there was another question that people had here. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Oh, I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, yeah I mean, are... everything is everything is set up. Everything oh, is what... working now, guys. Um, I, I recommend everybody give it a try and uh, go and use it, bridge your assets across. How many people here have um, have an iPhone and have been able to download um, the NeoBank? For sure I have it. For sure I'm using it. Come on, it. give me a hand, guys. I'm looking through the audience now. Not seeing a lot of hands. Oh, there's a couple of hands, okay. There's probably a delay, I'm guessing. There's some people, yeah. So if you guys have an iPhone, then I strongly recommend you go give it a try. You can download it. You can set everything up for free. If you want to get a bank account, then it's uh, $5 per month uh, introductory cost. That's going to go up uh, significantly once we get multiple currencies into the into the mm -hmm. bank account. Um, so it would, be, it would be great to see all of you guys out there and giving it a try. Um, and giving us some feedback in regards to the to the banking app um, sure and using it and getting access to it um, I think that's about it um, we're at the 40 I think we want to open up for a couple couple more questions um, you guys uh, Dustin Pepe do you see any more questions from the community I believe I asked some questions and I want them to be answered now I think some some quick clarification because I've seen some questions during the day and I also see a question in the Twitter is that uh, Diamond Hands NFTs is not for lending and borrowing. The NFT that goes has here. utility into the lending and borrowing is the banker, the bank manager, um, which if you have in Cardano, you will have to bridge into the mail network using the bridge or using the app and put along some of your either supply or borrow positions. The Diamond Hands is going to give you um, the free, a free paid tier for the banking um, and it's, it's going to come in the, in the midterm. There is no exact date on when that functionality is going to be active. Okay. So, all of this stuff is live now. Now I have a task for everybody here. Um, we're gonna need your help in the coming days and coming weeks to get the word out. 
everybody we talk to is super fired up, super thrilled, blown away oh. by what Meld has built, how it works, how easy it is, how useful it is, how cheap it is. Um, what we need now is we need people like you guys. We need our Meld army to go out there and scream at the top of the mountain. We need you to sort of talk about it, tweet about it, put it in LinkedIn, write about it, discuss it, you know, talk about it in, in community chats. Um, I believe in the project for sure. All of these different uh, places advice. and make sure that, you know, everybody in the space knows and everybody is aware of what we've actually built. That's awareness right. is now our number one deliverable. And that awareness is, is going to be the responsibility, obviously, of MELD. We're going to be marketing the hell out of this but also the community so that everybody in the community knows what's going on. Hey, Ando. Hey, again. Hi, Beva. Hi, Dustin. Um, well done, guys. Uh, super hyped with, uh, with the product. Obviously, I tested uh, the Neobank, um, tested the uh, lending and borrowing, did some supplying on both sides. Uh, so I'm actually uh, supplying and borrowing the same assets for myself. <laughs> uh, but it's fun. It, it works perfectly. So I expect nothing but success moving forward. I got one question, Ken. Uh, I know you mentioned that on the banking side, we want to uh, be independent, diversify from the banking license suppliers. Is there any anything in the pipeline with regards to you know uh, additional EMI license or, or the individual IBANs? Is there something you can share on that? So that that is the the individual IBANs is in process from a technical perspective. So that'll come along with uh, the cards deployment. Um, outside of that, not right now. I mean, we're always keeping our eyes open in regards to different um, different infrastructure to be able to connect to. But right now, the focus is on uh, to work with what we've already got and what we have in the market. We already have connection to three different uh, infrastructure players, um, two different crypto providers, soon three different crypto providers. Um, <coughs> So that's the focus as of right now. Um, and again, we'll see hopefully by the end of the year, as long as the integration happens in good time, that we'll have the cards um, out there and working. Um, and when that happens, then we'll have the IBANs as well. Amazing. So so IBANs and cards targeting Q4? I'm not giving you any dates. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm just I'm asking about a quarter. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's, that's good. So all of these are based on third-party providers and the processes that they go through from a traditional financial perspective or traditional financial industries. So financial institutions, they don't work on hard deadlines. They just work, you know, based on when when we can, we can get it done. So we're, we're pushing it, but we just have to wait for them to be able to uh, get everything across the line. And then we're able to do... all of the integrations awesome thank you sure no problem cool cool then i think we're going to wrap it up at that um appreciate everybody for joining it's across Supply some liquidity. Um, <laughs> go get some meme coins. Our meme coins are actually doing pretty well. They're pretty stable. I'm impressed with <laughs> you guys. Coins. You guys haven't been really kind of selling much. You've been out there and just diamond handing the whole thing. Mm. So um, happy about that. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. Give you guys an update in regards to what's going on. That's great. Thank you very much for your time as well, guys. And I'm looking forward in order to understand what did you pick up on this video? And if you believe that MELD is a great project and a great use case for most of you guys, I'm looking forward to hear your opinion. And I hope you have a great day. See you soon. Bye bye.